Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. Last weekend, we had the first ever community build along where five of us built this or attempted to build this Tron XY X8 printer from GearBest. And uh, let's say there were some hiccups along the way. So, um, what do you say we get to the nitty gritty? So when GearBest first contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in building the Tron XY X8 printer and doing a review on it, I, I was excited about the prospect. It was the first chance that I had been approached to build and review a printer uh, outside of ones that I had you know, purchased on my own. And being a smaller channel, uh, it felt like a great start for me to do that. When I looked at the price point of the printer, it almost seemed like this was a great opportunity to make it an interactive build. Instead of just watching me stand around all day building it in a live stream or in a pre-recorded stream, I thought it would be great to get the community involved. And we did. We had four other builders. We had, well, five if you count Isabella. We had Eddie and Isabella as a team. We had Randy. We had Jeffrey, and we had Pete down there in Australia. And it was a great team, and it was a lot of fun for the build. Unfortunately, we were very successful at having five failed builds. And I say that in not taking away from our skills or our ability to build the printer, but every single one of us had problems with our kits. We had missing parts, rusting bearings. Uh, I had a bad control board. Uh, Eddie had a, I think his LCD was out. Uh, there were missing acrylic panels. All kinds of problems, missing cables. Um, and the bottom line is that the quality control on the Trunk XY kit just was not there. So. The day after we did the review, since it was a weekend, when it was a weekday in, in China, I reached back out to GearBest and let them know that I can't do a review on this printer because we can't make it work. And it wasn't just me, it was five of us. Five kits, five ordered independently of each other, all of them with different problems, all of them with some of the same missing problems like the rusty bearings or, or, the, or the frozen bearings. Uh, so I told GearBest, I can't review it and they really need to look at their quality control on this kit. That said, it's time to flip the tables on it. The other four builders and I have decided that we want to see what it takes to take this $150 frame or $160 frame, I think it was, with, with the discount codes, and turn it into a working functioning printer. Um, re replacing the control boards, replacing the bearings, 3D printing replacement parts for it, that sort of thing. So stay tuned and you're going to see more videos from myself and or bringing in the other builders on what we're going to do with this kit and the end result is I want to be able to show you that when you go for these subpar or, or bottom barrel price wise kits here's what you get and if you're willing to do that if you go into it knowingly here's what you can build and here's how much more money you have to put into it to make it usable and I don't know those things yet until we get through tweaking this thing out. But I want to be able to show you guys that, yeah, if you take a, the $160 kit, if you add in another $80, you're now, you know, up over, what, 230 or whatever the math is on that. And at that price point, you might as well have bought a, a better kit. So 
I want people to see what the expectations are. So my perspective now is I cannot provide a review on the Tron XY X8 because I can't make it work out of the box. If any of you guys are interested in picking it up just because you're crazy enough and wild enough and you want to see, yep, it's really that bad, the quality control is just that bad, or if you're just looking for a box of parts that you know what you're getting out of it and you feel like hacking the heck out of it, um, I'm leaving the affiliate link down below. Again, I'm not necessarily recommending anybody buy it, but if you do choose to buy it from the affiliate link or, or without the affiliate link, I want to make sure everybody knows what they're getting into. If you are looking for a printer that's going to work out of the box that you can assemble and make it go, this is not for you. So that's all I have for now. Stay tuned for more updates as we mod this thing and get it working. And we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.